Hello all, this video is for those who are lexical and for those especially in the reserve force in Pliny. I'm going to show you how it's going to do. Same thing for everybody. First step, you want to click on your name. You all have certain line numbers that have been given to you. Only worry about uh, this area right here, book 16. I don't know if we're going to get to book. I don't know if we're going to get to letter 20 or not, but book 16. So here we go. You're going to click right here. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be Miss Barkley. Miss Barkley has eight and nine. So I'm going to open this up and you'll notice the letters are, all of it together in the same book. So I'm going to scroll down to letter eight and nine, which is good because I'm I've been I've been working hard on trying getting a base commentary together to be added to. There we go. Eight and nine. Now what we need to do is the lexical part. The lexical part. That's the dictionary. Now some of these words are bolded. I was just shooting from the hip on these. I may or may not be true, but we'll find out. So you got that in one window. Pull it off. Wham. I just pulled it off. Alt-Tab. I went back over here, and I'm going to go to the vocabulary document for 8 and 9. So this is a vocabulary set up by Dr. Stedman, who is amazing, who set it up in alphabetical for the various passages. And there we go, 16, 8, and 9. I am going to make this half the screen, Alt-Tab, and then I'm going to go back over here and make this half the screen, Alt-Tab, and I'm going to try and make it so it fits. It's a little smaller, but I can do it. So I'm going to look here. This is the vocabulary that's chosen, uh, which is basically uh, alphabetical. And uh, there are some differences. There's, it actually occurred on, on two pages. So I'm going to look at it. So here we go. So I look for words. I go through there. Eh, actually, sorry, Miss Barkley. I'm going to go to the next one because I'm going to, that one's halfway done. So I'm going to go 10, 11. That's perfect. Fresh start. Fresh meat. So I look at the words and I have here, I scroll up, scroll down. Remember, two fingers to scroll. And I look at the first word I don't see, it's properat. I go here, I bold it, control B. I go to this side, I highlight propero. I go here to the first column, keep it in the one column because we'll balance later. And how am I gonna paste? I'm gonna paste control shift V. That puts it in that nice Latin font, that's easier. So I look here, ill look. Do I see a look? I do see a look. Holy, holy mackerel. And I'm going to put it right here, ill look. And I'm going to realize this is a bold. And I'm going to look for unde. Oh, my goodness. This is a lot of vocabulary here. And I'm going to go to unde. This way, when, they're re when you're reading, they can see it directly. And I'm going to bold this. And I'm going to look up. And, and this for... This is where you can actually delete off the original document. You're copying it over, so you have stuff that's left. And I'm looking for Ali, no, Fugia, no, Rectum, Que, oh, there's Recta, Us, Um, boom, Control X, go back over here, Control V, highlight Rectum, and it's not Rectum Que, though, either. that little Que, Clitic Que, don't worry about that. Then I'm going to look for cursum. I don't see it. Good. That means that's a regular verb. Uh, that, well, it's a regular word. It occurs a lot. And then we're looking for another word, gubernacula. Oh, that's a good one. Gubernaculum. Okay. We'll take that. Control X. Control V. And then I'm going to look down in periculum. Oh, periculum is not a not a new word. Tenet, not a new word. Good. Ad AO. Oh, there it is. Boom. 
ad eos bolded. Then I go to the next word, salutas. I don't see it. Metu, ah, metu, fear. Nope, that's a common one. Ut is common. Omnes is common. Ilius is common. Mali is common because you don't see it over here. Motus. Ah, I see motus. Control X. Alt tab. Put it down here. Control oop, Control V. And then what do I want to do with motus? Bold it. Figuras. I don't see figuras there, so good. Ut deprenderat. Deprendo. Ah, see, there's the verb. Doesn't matter what form it is. There's the verb. This is the base lexical meaning. Deprenderat. And then what else do I got? Oculus. Well, that's eyes. Dictorat. Dicto. Dictate. Ah. Control X. Then I want to take this right here, bold it. I'm just going to get to the end of that sentence. Enoteratque. Ah, there you go. Enoto. So I got that. Control Shift V. Now, oh, I got to do it. Now you don't highlight the quay because that's just and. So now that I got that done, let's make it big. Now I'm not done with it, but this is the idea. You're going to go down here, and I only want the Latin and the English. Now, English is used architect daughter. So I put my cursor there, put my little cursor there, and then I click over here on the paint format, and I click on it, double click. So it's kind of blue, it's kind of highlighted. Then everywhere there's English, I just click on it. Ah. Or I can also hold down uh, the mouse button till it clicks, and then I can go that way. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So that way I'm transporting the font to another situation. All right. To yeah. So, and then I go here, and I go here. Now, the reason why we do this is we know that words that occur in the glossary, in the dictionary, and the words that occur in the text or in this nice comic, words that, that way you can look at it, and English, I use this one. Now, let's tidy it up. The next step is propero. I want to take it. I want to take out the, the, there's no need for a colon, and I want to delete everything there. So hasten or hurry, which one makes sense? It doesn't matter. What, what you know, because you know students better than I do. Take those threes off. To there, thither. Okay, to there, thither. I like thither, but you probably like to there, because nobody knows what thither and whither is. Unde, from which, it's actually whence, but it's from that's how I learned from where. Don't worry. You don't, you don't. Now, when you see this right here, that means it's an adjective, but it's a sexist adjective because it's only giving the masculine form. That's how traditional grammars have been. Because uh, it's a man's world. We don't want to do that. We want to just simply put the, fe this is the three terminations. So you want to put a slash us. Um, that way it fits with first and second declensions. Straight or direct, either one. Gubernaculum, I want to look at it here and see. It says in the plural, and that's plural, that's directions. So we want to go, eh, just put it simple. The helm or the rudder. Probably the rudder is what everybody would know. Ad eo, so to such a degree. Um, I think to such a degree sounds good. Motus is motion. We don't need to see these commas here. Movement or motion. Which sounds better? Well, I think I think motion helps us remember it better. Dehembrendo. Now, these are the principal parts. You don't need those. Just take it off. Seize or grasp. Go for seize. Make it simple. Dicto. Dictate. That's easy. And a noto. Note. Mark or mark out. Note. 
only one definition. You want to keep it simple. Now, the commentary part will have a little bit better, but this is just kind of a clue. Now, that's your job. So once your job is done, I'm going to be grading it. I'm going to be grading it according to the, the uh, commentary plan. Now, this is the same, by the way, for all of the brigades. This is for the lexical brigades. Your responsibility is, there we go, wrong name, Shade. Your responsibility is listed right there. And your job is to, ready, edit the text. And then I gave you a resource. I gave you a resource underneath that says vocabulary. So what I was just doing with Pliny, you're going to do as well. You're going to put the words in as they occur in the text. Only worry about the first column. Don't try and balance out the columns because we don't know how many pages we're going to need for everything. So therefore, it's going to be pagination is going to be an issue. Key is to just put it in. This one's already been started. That's really good. Who started in 783? 783 would be the Sade. How nice. All right. So I'm going to have this. I'm sending out the video now for the lexical and for Pliny. I'll be doing another video in about 20 minutes on meter, on the, on the text group. And then a morphosyntax, they're already moving ahead. So we are going to overcome. That's what we're going to have. That's our song. We shall overcome. We're going to do it because I believe in you. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.